So now in this video, we want to light four series LEDs like you see here, except for the protective resistor goes directly to the 5 volt uh, power supply right now with 5 volts, as I just said there. But as you can see there, the LEDs are not lit up. So we're going to turn on the oscilloscope there and plug that into the board while it starts. And so it's just floating now. We're just going to get some noise and so we got that jumper in there so this probe has this plug here which comes to these alligator clips which I call probes and so now we're gonna just tack that into the board there and then come to where the LEDs and the resistors come together and the power supply uh, the cord is kinda loose so there we go I plugged it into the board better there you can see we got two, four, and then five, because each division is two volts, as you can see right there. So what we're gonna do is we are going to add some more circuitry to it. So to begin with, we're gonna take the one kilo ohm resistor and go to the cathode right there of uh, that diode. Maybe you can see that, maybe you can't. But uh, there's a gray stripe right down here for the cathode for this one, anode there, which connects to the cathode of that one anode to the positive side of the power supply 5 volts as you can see there so we're just going to yank that resistor and make the connection that way so we still have the probe to the LEDs and this one all the LEDs by the way the long lead the anode is towards the uh, positive side of the power supply short lead the cathode is headed down here so all of them have the long lead up one row short lead the cathode down one row Long lead anode, short lead cathode. So, right now, again, we will have 5 volts. Right now, get the lamp out of the way. And so we'll still be at 5 volts. As you can see there, 2, 4. In fact, actually, no, we went down a bit because there's two diode drops. So, in any case, that's not the main takeaway. So, now, we're going to scoot this over. Let's add a capacitor to catch some charge. In fact, this one's gonna be more interesting. Let's do this capacitor first. So we have a switch there. One side goes to the positive rail, as you can see there, and the other side has a resistor that goes to the negative rail. So we're gonna to need to limit current when we close the switch. That's gonna be very important. And so we, I'm gonna use a 220 ohm resistor. The exact value is not crucial. So we have that there. Now we're gonna grab the capacitor. This is a 470 microfarad capacitor. We can charge up to 50 volts. We're only gonna charge this one to five volts. We're plenty safe. But uh, the negative side is this curved one. If the capacitor is polarized, smaller value capacitors, especially, are not polarized. So you might see two straight lines if they're not polarized. This one's definitely polarized. And uh, I put a plus sign there to show the positive side. But if that's not there, the curved side is the negative side. So that's a good thing to remember. And we're going to go to where the two diodes come together. Right there. Pretty straightforward. And then this side's coming to the side of the switch, the bottom side. That's connected to the uh, resistor, as you may be able to see right there. So I'm adding this one first because this one's kind of interesting. Already we can boost the voltage. There you see, we got enough voltage for the LED to light up. You can see though the capacitor is going to start discharging and uh, so what we're going to do that pretty much is enough but you can see it flashes every time we hit the switch so to avoid that flash we're going to add the other capacitor right there and so again this one the uh, negative side that's going to go to the negative rail and then the positive side is going to go to where this diode connects to the uh, resistor. And I'm trying to not block the uh, light. There we go. So I got the uh, positive side to where the diode and the resistor connect. Right there. And let's uh, zoom back again. Get that into a better spot for the light. And we'll hit the switch. You can see the voltage goes up a bit. So these LEDs, they're blocking 6 volts at least. 
and as more current goes through them they're going to block a little more voltage plus there's some voltage across the resistor it's a one kilo ohm resistor we're not dealing with much current right now so what we're going to do we're going to look so it's two four six and looks like we get to probably about seven stop that for a second two four six about seven volts up and we're going to yank one of the LEDs and see the voltage that we get so two four six eight nine looks like nine volts so maybe if we go fast enough and uh, use a lower value resistor maybe we'll get to nine volts but uh, there's definitely probably ways we could improve this but in case you can see the capacitor charged up and now it's leveled off so two four six eight oh yeah that's right I don't have that diode there if I put the diode back in then it will go back down right there so any case that is the Dixon charge pump circuit and uh, my version of it anyways right there so we have a couple capacitors and one of them helps pump up the uh, voltage and the other one helps capture some of that energy to help give it more time to go across the load and so here you can see that uh, through this diode to the positive side of the capacitor the other side of the capacitor there's a resistor to the negative rail so this circuit tends to want to charge this capacitor up in the normal way and also it charges this one so it's charging both of them at uh, the same time so now we come over here when we close the switch what that really does is in a way it kind of puts these two capacitors in series there's a charge built up the way the power supply is it wants to discharge and so it helps pump up this one and we have a release though we have a load so without the load we can get to about uh, 8.6 volts or so that's what I wrote on there I made this diagram a while ago so that's probably what my multimeter told me and uh, I think we got to 9 volts yeah we got to 9 volts without the load but in any case that capacitor gets pumped up its voltage but the load was help lowering it so if we as we saw we made it where no current was going through so it held probably about 9 volts right there so that's the basic uh, circuitry of it so it's pretty interesting and it's pretty easy to use if you just have a power supply like this a capacitor and a switch you can charge up a uh, larger value capacitor and store more energy for if you need some more time or something but in any case we're not getting a lot of current with this particular setup but still it's a good demonstration so hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching i will see you in the next video